Hello, welcome, welcome, welcome. This is going to be the Indies in Bay Philly 2019 vlog. It is five in the morning and it's cold. My temperature says that it's 32 degrees out and it's ridiculous. Oh my goodness. I got my big coat, but I also got all my prep and I have a sweatshirt back there so that I can, uh, you know, wear that while I'm up there. Hopefully it's not too much colder up there. Um, my nails haven't completely changed, so it's not that cold, obviously. Um, and I will be listening to The Plus Ones by an author. I'll just put the cover over here so you guys can see that as I'm driving up. And I hope you guys enjoy this vlog. I've arrived in Philadelphia. Uh, my three hour, three and a half hour drive only took me about three hours. It is like 824 now. And yeah, it was a quick ride. It was real smooth. Not a whole bunch of traffic, which was awesome um, because me and traffic just don't get along. And now uh, because I had to use my maps on my phone, my stinking phone is like almost dead. I'm not even happy about that. It has like 60%. So uh, we can start lining up because I'm a blogger. I have a blogger ticket um, at 8.30. So I might push it. I'm across the street from the conference center, which you guys will see. So walking in about 8.40, 8.35 or so, um, 8.30, you know, I don't know. Uh, I'm just going to see if I can get this charged a little bit before I walk in and uh, see if I can get some percentages up because, yeah, I don't know. It only needs to last me for like three hours. So hopefully that works out well. We'll see. I mean, I have my other camera as well. 
which I'll be doing footage on that one. So hopefully that helps. Ooh, I wish I could like carry around a battery with me, like a huge one that wasn't like huge. You know what I mean? Craziness. So hope you guys enjoy the signing through via me and my footage. All right, so we're here. This is the blogger line back there. And we all kind of went and registered and now we're gonna be sitting around waiting until nine o'clock so that we can go in. Um, hopefully this turns out well. Accepted, and so if I didn't see her back, I that was totally yeah. calling her out. Yeah, that, that is very like, true. That's some shit right there. You know what, bro? I'm going to the damn books, and Let's now you're going to call me out? <laughs> what the hell are you doing? Okay. Doing shots with readers, baby. <laughs> Love it. <laughs> so call me out. in the garage so that I can go drop off my books in my car, my, my carrier there, right there, wow. right there. I came with an empty uh, box with one book and it's full as you guys can see. That is what you call pre-ordering 
your books before you go to a book signing because it's essential. That way you can come empty and not have to worry about anything. You don't have to worry about it getting back. So if you live far away or anything like that, you can always either package them up or and have them sent to you via the mail or you can use the cart and then, you know, put it in your car. It helps. It really does. I'm out of breath. Whew. Such an eventful morning already. And then I'm gonna get some food at the Reading Market and hope you guys enjoy that. Whew. Because every place in Reading Market is absolutely crazy with lines. Um, I'm deciding to get some different desserts this time along with the regular donuts that I usually get, which you guys will see in a couple minutes. I'm gonna get some cakes and pies or something or another from the Flying Monkey. All right, signing's done. Time to uh, go home. We're walking back to the. Oh. No, not the whole time. Back to the parking garage now. Step in the terminal. Now she got my face. What? 
She said, you've been on the camera with her the whole time. I said, no. No, no. I said, bits and pieces, but in the terminal. Yeah. Yeah, my face is there. At the blind moment. <laughs> yes. <laughs> what? I end up cutting this shit out anyways. Yes. By religion for 21 years of my life. Oh, sweet Never Jesus. Never started a religion, but he hates religion. On the way to the car. Done for the day. Time to drive three hours. Time check? What time you got? 3.13. We're at 3.13. Uh, I guess I will do another sign-off. Yeah, it'll be late. I guess I'll sign off woo, for right now. And you guys will see me back when I do my closing and stuff like that. Bye! Whew. Signing days are a hard thing, hard, hard thing. So I hope you guys enjoyed the vlog footage and everything like that. Next time you'll see me, I will be back in my room doing a haul sort of next clip will be of all of the stuff that I got today um, during the signing and things like that, giving you guys, you know, a wrap up of everything else that happened and thoughts and things like that. Um, it is one of my favorite signings, so yes, love it. It is so worth the three hour up and three hour back trip. And it's almost 10 o'clock at night. Got my bonnet on to keep my, my little knots uh, proper. And uh, I'm going to bed. I'm gonna like try and read a book. But uh, I'm probably going to fall asleep on that bad boy. So, thank goodness I have a Kindle. That's all I got to say. Because that whole automatic off thing is so awesome. Such an awesome feature. Uh, but enjoy the haul par portion of this video vlog. Yeah. Alright, so we are back. I'm back. I'm back. We are back. In my home and I figured you guys wanted to see what I what what all I hauled at Indies Invade Philly so let's just go over a little bit of something like that right so being that I am a blogger um I sign up each year for the blogger tickets and we get special things in our bags we get a, a VIB VIP uh, tag and comes with a lanyard. It's really pretty. It's really cute. I love getting these tags. And then this year we also got a, a water bottle, which comes in handy because if you go to any bookish events or things like that, you need to take water with you. Yes, they will have water stations and things like that, but it's always nice to take a water bottle with you so that you can have hydration because events can be long and talking to people and things like that can get super, super crazy. So when you go, make sure you hydrate. I have a hydro flask, so that's what I take, but they handed those out this year and it was great for those that may have forgotten theirs. I also got two more authors to sign my cocktails, which 
you guys know is a huge freaking thing. Um, you're not really able to get these anymore unless an author from the 40 that participated in this. Yes, there was 40 in there. And I still have all of these. I only got two taken out, which was uh, Mariah Dietz and Corinne Michaels. I got them to sign their stories within here. But I still have all of those. I still have all those people to meet and get that signed. So, whew, let the work continue. So, the uh, wonderful Tessa Bailey was there and I got a copy of Fix Her Up. Personally signed to me. Love it. Love it. Love it. And... Um, because Tessa was there, two thirds of Alexa Riley was there, and I got this awesome lady listener bag. Yes, <laughs> that's what I'm talking about. And it has all of their Read Me Romance stuff on the back. Love it, love it. Such a cute bag, and I love those guys, they were amazing. Got some awesome headphones because you can't listen to the podcast without having headphones on unless you want to be thoroughly embarrassed at some point. I finished my collection of Mariah Dietz books with Curveball and Exception. These two small town stories are so amazing. I got to arc read for her for these stories and just hadn't had a chance to see her uh, recently. But since I did, I went ahead and got my own very copies these covers are absolutely gorgeous so gorgeous it is a duet and like i said it's about a small town uh and they're just so special they're really special i have to look back and see how i reviewed them but awesome i also got to see the wonderful corinne michaels who i just absolutely adore um i picked up her co-writes of imperfect match and hold you close that she does with melanie harlow and I will get to see, hopefully, fingers crossed, Melanie at a Polycon so that I can get her signature on these, as well as completing my Salvation series books with Infinite and Indefinite. Um, I actually said that out of order, I think. Yes, it's Indefinite and then Infinite. These stories, you guys know, this year wrecked me, wrecked me hard something fierce but this completes the salvation series and it's bittersweet to, bittersweet to let these guys go but now that i have them in my possession i can do a full author uh spotlight for corinne because now i own all of her books every last one of them and she writes something for everyone and i think you guys will enjoy her so if you're really really interested in that please let me know down in the comment section um if you're interested in a Corinne Michaels spotlight. I got to see T Tourist and she co-wrote a funny rom-com book called Food Fight. I had been looking for this. I remember when they announced that they were doing this, T had a, um, a copy of it. So I went ahead and got this as well. I can't wait to read it. I have not read it yet, but can't wait to read it. I am down for the rom-com and love it. As I had been saying in many of my other videos, I got to meet the wonderful Tegan Hunter. Can we talk about these spines and how absolutely beautiful they are, first of all? Um, this is her entire texting series and then her new series, Slice, that is coming out. These covers are freaking fabulous. Super fabulous. I don't know what you guys are talking about. Uh, why you're not buying them? Well, the Slice ones. But we're going to go through textual text first. Um, these are out of order. Sorry. But text me baby one more time. Amazing. Can't text this. I want to text you up. And let's get textual, which starts off this entire series. This is book number one. Make sure you go check these out. Her play on words is so phenomenal. It's not overdone to a point where it's like, 
why another pun it's done to a point where you're like yes another pun it's so cute and fun and sweet and funny and the stories are amazing as well so yes totally love her puns love 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 and we have a pizza mahata a pizza mahata it's all around a pizzeria and the family that owns it love this book can't wait to get to I Need You Tonight. This is a single mom story. That one was the, you know, brother's best friend story. Ugh. So, and then the spines. These are gonna like brighten up my bookshelf and I can't wait, can't wait. Picked up the fifth book in the loving, in the, bleh, in the wrong series by Joanne Madden and A.M. No. Oh my goodness. I'm missing your, I'm mashing your names, guys. A.M. Madden and Joe H. Schwim. This is about the sister to the brothers that we have already met, Dante and Luca. This is Gianna and she's amazing. She is super sassy. I just finished this book. I love this book. Um, you guys need to go check it out because it is fun. It's sassy and it's sexy. Yes. So many yeses. And... Joanne had the Prescott series and she also had released Hooked and Stuffed. This is another family that I have met in the past and I need to get to read these two books, but I had to have a copy for myself to finish out my collection of this, of this family. So yes, somebody has it. Earlier this year, I somehow was introduced to this author and Ever since I read her first, the first book of um, Fresh Catch, Kate Canterbury has been on my radar. I read Fresh Catch. Then I was all about hard pressed and Rough Sketch was a Read Me Romance podcast story that I really enjoyed. And I have not read yet, but looking forward to reading Far Cry from Kate. And she's one of the authors that surprised me because I had never met her that knew that I did booktube reviews. And she was like, you're doing such a great job. And it was just so sweet. There were so many authors that recognized me and things like that. But to not meet an author and then to meet them at a signing and they know your work, it's just ugh, such validation such validation like seriously I love you guys that like talk me up and then oh my goodness I just noticed these the spines and things like that they're so pretty together like not together but the little cute little decorations that go on them is actually pretty awesome I love that love that some of you guys love Penelope award and I do too saw her had to pick up her newest books. Uh, these are the newest books that I know of. Oh, I bought two of the same book. Look at that. I wonder if she personalized both of them. Why, yes, she did. <laughs> um, I might have to uh, do a giveaway. If you don't mind having your copy signed with my name on it, you might want to, you know, stick around, check out Instagram or something like that. Might do it over there. Don't know. But, oh, I forgot to tell you what that was. When August Ends by Penelope Ward. I also got The Day He Came Back and Love Online. You guys know I am a sucker for t-shirts and the fabulous... Stacy Stacy Eastwick had some really interesting t-shirts that I went ahead and picked up and here's this one and then we have this one And she had a cute double walled 
glass that I was so for. It says books are better than people. Completely agree. And my husband is always yelling at me about my cups falling over. And I don't have a big one like this that I can like put a straw in or just carry around that's insulated because I need my insulated cups, guys. And I also got a bag from Stacy. It was pretty awesome. And another friend of mine from Book Signing Treasures is also doing t-shirts now. She's branching out. I applaud her. I love her work. I also got like three mugs that I'm about to show you guys, but I will put all of her information down in the description box. So if you think any of those are t-shirts that you would like to own, you can find the information down in the description box. Alrighty, so now you guys get to see this awesome book nerd mug. Or maybe this one. Love it. Or maybe even this one. In my videos now. So that is the haul. Um, they have already announced the save the date for next year's Indies Invade Philly. So if you are in the Philadelphia area or willing to fly into this area, it is a amazing event to go to. Um, I hope you guys have figured that out by the vlog that I have just done for you guys. Next year's event, which is going to be November the 14th, 2020. I'll just leave a list of the possible attending authors next year down in the description box. I'm not even going to try and name everybody off. And they also change. So, you know, but okay. So I hope you guys enjoyed the vlog and you got to see, get a little taste of how a book event happens. Um, this one is an amazing event to go to. It is six years old this year and I really enjoy this one. This is the one that I will drive three hours for and you know I try and come every single year because it's such an amazing production with you know the people that put it on. Greatly appreciate them. They're freaking amazing and yeah. So leave me comments and let me know what you thought of the vlog. Uh, this is over on the Patreon page. So thank you for the support uh, so that you could watch this video. And I hope you really, really enjoyed it and continue to support me in this endeavor of, you know, getting books out there that people don't really talk about that aren't mainstream, that are indies. And yeah, so thanks for watching and we will see you guys later.